Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what is method overriding in Java? Let me answer. So what is method overriding? Method overriding. Let's say in Java, you have two classes and uh, this class is a child class of this parent class. Let's say this is class A, this is class A, and this is class B. Okay? So using some extends keyword and all, I will make this particular class a child class of the class A. In such situations where class B is a child class of class A, in class A, let's say there's a method known as sample method. Okay? In parent class, class A, there is a sample method. If I create the same method, Okay, in class B, having the same name, a duplicate method, if I try to create in the child class of this parent class, class A. So this method, which is there in the child class is said to override this method in the parent class. Okay, the method in the child class, which is having the same name and uh, which is a duplicate of the method in the parent class is said to override this method in the parent class. This is a this is called as method overriding this, okay? What is method overriding? So method overriding is nothing but if there are two classes, if that is a parent, one is parent, one is child. And in the child class, if we have the method, which is a duplicate of the method in the parent class, then the method in the child class is said to override the method in the parent class. And this concept is called as method overriding guys. Okay, let me explain you again here. When you create a method in child class, which is a duplicate of a method in parent class, okay, which is having the same name and which is nothing but a duplicate of a method in parent class. The method in the child class is said to override the method in the parent class and this concept is called as method overriding. Let me practically demonstrate this for you so that it will become more easy for you to understand. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID and create a new class. I'll just name this class as class A, okay? In this class A, I'm going to create a method, guys, okay? Public uh, void sample method I'm going to create. I'll simply say system.out.println inside sample method of, inside sample method of class A, okay? Like this, I'll create. Now, one more class I'll create, guys, that is class B, okay? One more class I'll create, class B, okay? And uh, here in the class B, I'm going to create, so I, I'm going to make this class B a child class of class A, okay? Extends class A, okay? Like this I'll do. Now class B doesn't have anything. It doesn't have any variables or methods, but class B is now a child class of the class A. In such kind of situations, if I create one more class, I'll just, uh, I'll just drag this, this side class B. So here you have class A, which contains a sample method. Now I created one more class known as class B and made this class B a child class of the class A by using the extends keyword. And the class B doesn't have anything in it. Now I'm going to create one more class with the main method and all. I'll just drag this this side so that you can see. Yeah, now it looks good. Now, in this demo class, inside this main method, okay, what if I create an object for the class B? New class B. Like this, I'll create an object for the class B. I'll simply say B is equal to object reference name is B. So using this object reference of this class B, child class, I can access, can I access this method of the parent class? Since class B is a child class of the class A, all the properties of the parent class are acquired or inherited automatically by class B. Even though there is no variable or method in the class B, if I create an object for this class B using the object reference of that class, okay, I can access this method, right? Because child class acquires all the properties of the parent class, B dot sample. You see, I can access. When I run this code, you see inside sample method of class A, that is parent class will be printed, okay? using the object reference of the child class, I'm able to call the method in the parent class, okay? Inside sample method of class A because class B is a child class of the 
class A. So the inherited method from the class A to this class B will be called here. Okay, simple. Now, what if I do something like this? I'll create the method which looks same as the parent class. That is nothing but simple words. I'm creating a duplicate method. Okay. In the child class, I'm creating the exact same method. Okay. Here I'll write down system.order.println and inside sample method of class B, that is child class. Class B is nothing but child class. Okay. Now, this method is nothing but a duplicate of the same method in parent class. In that case, what will happen? This method, which is a duplicate of the same method in the parent class is said to, this highlighted method is said to override this method in the parent class. That means the same code when I run, if I call this sample method, whether the sample method in the child class will be called because I'm using the object reference of the child class, will the sample method of the child class saying inside sample method of class B will be printed or it will call the sample method of the parent class that is inside sample method of class A will be printed. What will happen here guys? Okay. Whether this child class sample method will be called or parent class sample method will be called because there is an ambiguity here. There's a confusion here because this method from the parent class is inherited. Sample method from the parent class is inherited by class B at the same time. Class B has its own sample method, which is a duplicate of the inherited method of the parent class, which method will be called inherited method will be called or the child class method, which is said to override the method of the parent class will be called the child class method, which is said to override the method of the parent class will be called guys. this particular method will be called not this method. Okay. So this is what is called as overriding in the child class. If you create a duplicate method, which is similar or same as a method in the parent class, which is a duplicate of the parent class method. Okay. Then the child class method will be called using the object reference of the child class. B dot sample means the overridden method will be called. Okay. Run this code and observe that this method in the child class, which is said to override the method in the parent class will be called inside sample method of class B. You see this method is being called. Uh, optionally, you can also mention an annotation override annotation you can mention because this is overriding the method in the parent class. So you can write at the rate override annotation without any problem. Okay. This is an optional thing, whether you write or not, doesn't matter. This method is going to override the method in the parent class. And when you call this method using the child class object, the overridden method, okay. The overriding method will be called overriding method of the child class will be called. So hope guys, you understood what is method overriding in Java. When you create in the, uh, create a method in child class, which is a duplicate of a method in the parent class, the method in the child class, which is said to override the method in the parent class will be, you know, is said to be override. Okay. It's said to override the method in the parent class. This concept is called as method override. Okay. The child class method, which is a duplicate of the parent class method is, is said to override the method in the parent class method. Okay. So with practical demonstration, I have answered this question for you. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.